Good evening, everybody. My name is Garabo Born. Welcome to FPD Graduation 2021. Before we open the session, let me please just go through some house rules. Please note that all participants are on mute, only presenters and the MC will be able to use the microphone. At the end of each qualification, you can unmute yourself and clap for the group who has graduated. We want you to engage with the audience, therefore you are welcome to engage with us and the other online participants on the chat function. The success of our event relies on us being able to connect. Kindly note that only presenters and MC will have cameras on. If you have any questions, please use the chat function and we will assist you. The graduation recording will be available after the ceremony. More information regarding this will be communicated to you. It is our pleasure to hand over to FPD's Managing Director, Dr. Gustav Wolfhard, to formally open the graduation. By virtue of the powers vested in me in terms of the statute of the Foundation for Professional Development, I constitute this gathering as a congregation of the Foundation for Professional Development for the purpose of awarding certificates. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2021 FPD graduation. I know that these are abnormal times and it is less than ideal that we're meeting in a virtual environment. But as you all know, our biggest priority is to ensure that everybody and their loved ones stay safe. So this is the 12th annual FPD graduation and the second of our virtual graduation. And we will be graduating students who've successfully completed eight formal qualifications. So I want to use this opportunity to thank a number of people. The faculty, assessors and moderators, the sponsors and donors who so generously support our students, but most of all I want to thank the students and their family members and partners who are guests at this meeting, but all of you invested time and effort to support our graduates to complete this important milestone in their lives. All of this would not have been possible without the dedication of the FPD staff, the heads of the schools, and all the administrative support staff in our student administration section. To all of these people, you've contributed to what is a milestone in everybody who's participating in this graduation's lives. I thank you sincerely, and for the graduates, I want to thank you for all your effort, all the time, all the dedication, and I hope you use these qualifications to go out there and help build a better society. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to our keynote speaker, Professor Ian Sanner. Professor Sanner is the founding director and chief executive officer of Right to Care. He's an associate professor of internal medicine and infectious diseases at the University of Witwatersrand and adjunct professor at the Center for International Development at Boston University. He's also the division head of the Clinical HIV Research Unit, the International Vice Chair of the AIDS Clinical Trials Group, and a Director of Health Economics and Epidemiology Research Office. Professor Sana sits on the board of various local and international organizations. But although Professor Sana has got a very distinguished CV, that's not why we've invited him to be our keynote speaker. What has really impressed me at a very personal level is to see Professor Sana incredible dedication and commitment to not only helping South Africa, but a number of countries in the Southern African region respond to the COVID pandemic. He has been at the front lines, literally at the front lines. I've seen him in field hospitals, out there in the field, ensuring that treatment and now more recently vaccines get to people. He's been happy to play this role, standing in the shadows while other people often stand in the spotlight. And it's that type of leadership and dedication which we at FPD want to celebrate and acknowledge. For the students in this graduation, here is a person that you can look up to. He not only practices what he preaches, but he leads by example and he's willing to put himself in harm's way for the improvement of health in our part of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure and a privilege to welcome Professor Sana as our keynote speaker. Um, good evening. 
to the head of the, the president of the convocation, Dr. Gustav Wolfart, and the head of the academic cluster, Stacy Ann Pillay, I thank you very much for this invitation. I did not think that I was old and gray enough to give a, to give a convocation speech, but I thank you very much for the honor of inviting me to uh, honor the most important people here tonight, which is the 201 graduates of the class of 2021 of the Foundation for Professional Development Academic Postgraduate Courses. It's really, really important to honor you. And in fact, say Sia Bonga. The Society of South Africa thanks you that despite the very difficult times that we live in at this conjuncture in the COVID pandemic, that you have persisted with your qualification, your degree, uh, your postgraduate qualification uh, with the Foundation for Professional Development. I do need to say a few words to, as to why we thank you. We thank you because in the South African Healthcare Society, healthcare workers have been most affected, infected, affected, and very sadly have passed away due to COVID. We thank you because indeed you have persisted to engage with predominantly postgraduate management diplomas through the foundation. And these are critically important at the juncture that the healthcare system finds itself in today. We have been fraught with uh, poor management for quite some time. And indeed, in the most recent times, have uncovered significant corruption within our healthcare system. We hope that you as graduates from the foundation will be able to make a contribution to the turnaround strategy in the healthcare system of South Africa. That turnaround occurs uh, during the COVID pandemic, where indeed uh, the healthcare sector was most affected. So over 250,000 people have lost their lives due to COVID in the last year and a half. And uh, at the same time, the healthcare sector has been most affected because of our healthcare workers have really gone above and beyond. And we honor healthcare workers at the front line, but also healthcare workers who have supported frontline healthcare workers with management skills. You have learned many of these new management skills through your courses. And we hope indeed that as we move forward towards a more structured health system in South Africa, that indeed your management skills will come to the fore. It is critically important that we continue to fight the COVID pandemic with the prevention interventions that we know. And indeed, one of the greatest successes that South Africa has seen in the last year has been the advent and growth and, and scaling of both the disaster medicine response, which the foundation has provided significant education support, as well as the vaccine effort. As I stand here today, 24 and a half million doses of vaccine have been dispensed, reaching around 37% of our population. We still need to expand that, and we hope that all of us will continue to be engaged in receiving both the first and the second dose of vaccine for Pfizer. And as healthcare workers, those that participated in Sasonke, will take up the additional uh, Sasonke Boost vaccine provided by Johnson & Johnson. In so doing, we hope to, in fact, expand the vaccination campaign to other South Africans. We, we need to reach 70% critical mass of, of the population vaccinated to ensure a flattening of the curve, to avoid a fourth wave of uh, COVID which unfortunately has initiated in the last week. So that vaccine effort, together with other prevention interventions, continues to be our primary aim, the aim to, in fact, end this pandemic. During the pandemic, however, we have lost a lot of ground on healthcare, and we hope that indeed uh, to regain this ground. Many of our patients, uh, often the most poor, have missed their appointments, have been underdiagnosed for HIV, have lost out on TB diagnosis with a drop as much as 
in the number of TB specimens taken. These are examples of how the healthcare system has suffered under COVID and particularly how our patients have suffered with the COVID pandemic. These examples continue through diabetes, hypertension, cardiovascular disease and primary health care. We are the, the data is not out yet, but we certainly have missed appointments in childhood vaccination programs. I would ask in this convocation speech and this address to you that each of you take home the message that we need to ensure that we get back to business and that we rebuild our healthcare system to reach all those who have missed out during the last two years. Both public and private sectors have been affected, but more so the, the public sector. And indeed, we, I hope that I can encourage each of you that is qualified through the Foundation's courses to focus not only on the benefit of the course to yourselves, but indeed how you can apply this uh, within the, the scope of work, the practice that you are currently undertaking. It is a, with, a, with a firm understanding of the need for healthcare management and the interventions that go with it that we in, indeed are focused on rebuilding the healthcare sector. And management skills and management interventions are key to create an enabling environment for our healthcare workers to achieve the best possible outcomes for our patients. It is with the firm Siabonga that in fact I, I thank you again for taking up the additional effort of completing postgraduate education. I encourage you to go out into the world and use that postgraduate learning that you have uh, had now to disseminate that to your colleagues. I would also encourage you as graduates, if you've had a, a, a good experience, to in fact encourage others to join the Foundation for Professional Development's training programs. Overall, Sia Bonga. I request the Managing Director to award the certificates of the following programs. The Advanced Health Management Program, the Highest Certificate in Management, the Highest Certificate in Practice Management, the Advanced Certificate in Management, the Advanced Certificate in Health Management, the Advanced Certificate in Monitoring and Evaluation, the Advanced Diploma in Aesthetic Medicine and the Postgraduate Diploma in Health Professions, Education and Leadership. May the Managing Director award the individuals whose names appear on the program. I award these certificates of completion to the individuals whose names appear in the program. The FPD Yale Advanced Health Management Program. Ms. K. Barnard, cum laude, Mr. H. P. Benneker, cum laude, Mrs. C. Botta, cum laude, Ms. Al Govender, cum laude, Ms. M. Grobler, cum laude, Mrs. S. M. Humphreys, cum laude, Mrs. M. J. Jacobs, cum laude, Mrs. M. N. Mazibugo, cum laude, Mrs. S. Mostert, cum laude, Mrs. N. M. Nengwani, Mrs. E. L. Smith, cum laude, Mr. C. A. van der Westhazen, cum laude. This concludes the awards for Advanced Health Management Program. The next awards are for Higher Certificate in Management. Ms. N. S. Bachagna, cum laude. Mr. M. Botta. Ms. A. T. Gaele. Mrs. M. Chipeta. Mr. T. Ditibe. Mrs. M. Erasmus, cum laude. Mrs. C. Ferreira, cum laude. Ms. E. K. Gindra, cum laude. Mrs. N. J. Grove, cum laude. Ms. M. M. Kuno, Mrs. S. Dibepe, 
Ms. R.Y. Liebenberg, Ms. L. Majiza, cum laude, Mr. T. E. Mamabolo, Ms. T. Machiseve, Mr. K. F. Mugela, Mr. K. B. Motswane, Mr. S. A. Ngabinde, cum laude, Mr. N. J. Ndwakhaye, cum laude, Ms. B. Nzimbu, cum laude, Dr. M. Skippers, cum laude, Ms. W. M. Sibanda, Mr. N. Slabert, Ms. A. L. Smith, Ms. X. Tatubana, Mr. J. M. Chabangu, Ms. F. Tesha, cum laude, Ms. I. Uituze, Ms. M. U. Kulu, cum laude, this concludes the awards for Higher Certificate in Management. The following awards are for Higher Certificate in Practice Management. Mrs. E. Adendorf, cum laude. Mr. G. H. Bosov. Mr. Y. Kugli, cum laude. Mr. S. J. Cronier, cum laude. Mr. R. Daya, cum laude. Mrs. E. L. Duplessis. Mrs. T. Duplessis. Ms. R. Detroit. Mr. L. P. Ferreira. Ms. N. Harrison, cum laude. Dr. Y. Hukamshand, cum laude. Ms. J. Josephs, Dr. S. Kaji, cum laude, Ms. C. Killian, Mrs. J. E. Legat, cum laude, Dr. K. R. Makamate, cum laude, Dr. M. T. Makomisane, cum laude, Dr. T. J. Matlala, Mrs. A. M. Riley, cum laude. This concludes the awards for High Certificate in Practice Management. <laughs> Advanced Certificate in Management. Mr. L. B. Boom, Mrs. F. Karlsa, cum laude. Mr. P. N. De Silva, Ms. T. S. Davna, Mr. P. M. Lunga, Dr. A. P. Madi, Ms. R. S. Monare, Ms. M. Seiso, Dr. T. J. Dema, Ms. P. K. Tlakula. This concludes the awards for Advanced Certificate in Management. <laughs> Advanced Certificate in Health Management. Dr. M. M. Bekwa, cum laude. Mr. T. M. Butelezi, Dr. K. Dunarian, Dr. C. M. Engelbrecht, cum laude. Mr. M. D. Khakisi, cum laude. Ms. L. Kruger, cum laude. Mr. O. Tubisi, cum laude. This concludes the awards for Advanced Certificate in Health Management. Advanced Certificate in Monitoring and Evaluation. Mr. A. A. Abdella, Mr. A. H. Ahmed, cum laude, Mr. D. N. Anberbeer, cum laude, Ms. S. L. Bedi, Ms. D. G. Blom, cum laude, Mr. M. G. Bogino, cum laude, Mr. B. N. Bully, cum laude. Ms. S. R. Butelezi. Ms. K. M. M. Chauke. Ms. Q. S. Didiza. Mrs. B. P. Dlamini. Mr. A. A. Endris. Dr. E. O. Iziogu, cum laude. Mr. D. E. Hebriwot. 
Mr. A.A. Gedebo, cum laude. Mr. M.N. Hordofa, Ms. A.F.C. Gianni, Dr. M.G.S. Kamupira, cum laude. Ms. L. Kemele, Ms. M.E. Hokane, cum laude. Mr. Z.M. Kumalo, Mr. T.T. Lakojo, cum laude. Ms. M.F. Madiba, Ms. A. Magwaza, Ms. M.S. Malepe, Ms. N.N. Malinga, Mrs. F. Malumane, Ms. C.I. Manaka, cum laude. Mr. M.H. Maoto, Mr. M.M. Maretela, Mr. M.S. Marija, cum laude. Mr. M. Masangane, Ms. L.S. Mashaba, Mr. M.Z. Mashaba, Ms. L.P. Masia, Ms. N.D. Matenjwa, Ms. M. Matole, Mrs. C.T.N. Matweru, cum laude, Ms. N.E. Mbonambi, Ms. S.A. Mkasa, Mr. M.S. Melo, Ms. B. Mshongo, Ms. H.E. Mshope, Mr. W.M. Mitiku, Mr. M. Mkandla, cum laude, Ms. Z. Mkile, Mr. Z.R. Nguni, Ms. K. Mukwena, Mr. T. Mukwena, Ms. M. M. Mulete, cum laude, Ms. S. P. Mashiwa, Mr. M. S. Matizana, Mr. K. L. Mudau, Mrs. P. Y. Mudzi, cum laude, Ms. F. Morangandi, cum laude, Ms. M. M. Mushiani, Ms. A. Musoso, Mrs. K. C. Mieni, Mr. E. K. Ndo, Mrs. T. Ndo, Mr. P. S. Ndwandwe, cum laude, Mr. M. P. Nelson, Ms. M. E. Netomboni, Ms. M. N. Ngobeni, Ms. B. N. Ngobese, Mr. M. J. Ntlapo, Mrs. N. C. Japa, cum laude, Ms. N. T. Ngumalo, cum laude, Mrs. T. A. Nyambi, Mrs. P. N. Peterson, Mr. M. Pakamba, Mrs. N. P. Ramoshu, Mrs. N. V. Sibola, Ms. M. V. Selala, Mrs. M. R. Siopati, cum laude, Ms. T. D. Siteni, Mr. T. W. Shigeso, cum laude, Mr. S. B. Sikau, Ms. P. N. Soka, Ms. A. T. Subing, cum laude, Mr. T. K. Darakin, Ms. Y. Tony, Mrs. T. N. Chivashe, Ms. L. R. Klaba, Ms. L. P. Klaba, Ms. X. H. Zondo, Ms. N. P. S. Zulu, cum laude. This concludes the awards for advanced certificate in monitoring and evaluation. Advanced Diploma in Aesthetic Medicine. Dr. P. Amod, cum laude. Dr. R. G. Bagirati, cum laude. Dr. M. I. Blom, cum laude. Dr. S. R. Bota, cum laude. Dr. A. J. M. Chako, cum laude. Dr. N. G. Chapman, cum laude. Dr. L. S. Chetty, cum laude. Dr. S. V. Kurza, cum laude. Dr. M. J. Kurza, cum laude. Dr. S. M. Furi, cum laude. Dr. I. Hatting, cum laude. Dr. J. Joffe, cum laude. Dr. S. Z. Mohammed, cum laude. Dr. I. S. Malik, cum laude. Dr. A. Murray, cum laude. Dr. T. Murray, cum laude. Dr. L. 
Njongile Vumenjani, Dr. Y. N. Mube, Kumlada, Dr. M. M. Mkonowana, Dr. S. B. Naidu, Dr. K. Naidu, Kumlada, Dr. Z. N. Mumalo, Kumlada, Dr. T. Palowski, Kumlada, Dr. J. Paraze, Dr. T. G. Philip, Kumlada, Dr. R. K. Rankweteke, Kumlada, Dr. A. G. Roth, Kumlada, Dr. L. Sadi, Kumlada, Dr. N. D. Smith, Kumlada, Dr. J. F. Tavatar Nudia, Kumlada, Dr. C. A. Fisser, Kumlada. This concludes the awards for Advanced Diploma in Aesthetic Medicine. Postgraduate Diploma in Health Professions, Education and Leadership. Professor S. Adam, cum laude. Dr. L. N. Badlangana, cum laude. Dr. P. M. Barnard Ashton, cum laude. Dr. K. L. Naidu, cum laude. Mrs. G. M. Ritzma, cum laude. Dr. K. B. Von Presenton, cum laude. This concludes the awards for postgraduate diploma in health professions, education, and leadership. So every year, wonderful part of this graduation ceremony is to announce the best student awards, which are awarded to students who've shown extraordinary dedication and continuous commitment for the duration of the specific FPD learning program they were enrolled in. Students considered for this prestigious award have to adhere to a minimum requirement of achieving an average of at least 75% for their required learning programs assignments. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate the recipients of the 2021 awards for their exceptional and well-deserved achievement. The best student on the Advanced Health Management Program Mr. H.P. Bianica. Best student on the Higher Certificate in Management, Ms. M.U. Zulu. Best student on the Higher Certificate in Practice Management, Mrs. J.E. Legat. Best student on the Advanced Certificate in Management, Mrs. F. Carlson. Best student Advanced Certificate in Health Management, Dr. C. M. Engelbrecht. Best student in the Advanced Certificate and in monitoring and evaluation, Mrs. P.Y. Muduzi. Best student in the Advanced Diploma in Aesthetic Medicine, Dr. S. Kurtzia. Best Student Postgraduate Diploma, Health Professions, Education and Leadership, Dr. K.B. von Presenten. By virtue of the powers vested in me in terms of the statute of the Foundation for Professional Development, I dissolve this congregation. Thanks everybody. I hope you enjoyed our 
graduation ceremony. And I hope that soon we will get to that level of vaccination in our country where we can return to having these graduations in person. But for all of you who've attended in this virtual environment, please enjoy the opportunity, enjoy your qualification, and enjoy the success that you've achieved. And as I asked you earlier, go out there and use it for the power of good. Thank you very much, and God bless. Congratulations once again to our graduates. Thank you to our Managing Director, our guest speaker, Prof. Ian Sana, the MC, and all those who contributed to this graduation under the leadership of Lucy Rousseau. To a successful FPD 2021 virtual graduation. A special thanks to Lucy Rousseau for the desiring that all our graduates have a memorable graduation, regardless of the restrictions which I all think we can agree was truly special. In closing, I want to honour our graduates for the sacrifices you each have made, for the personal hurdles that you have transcended, and most of all, for the examples that you have set for your families and communities to further their education. Thank you for showing once again that education is the movement from darkness into light. As you start your journey with another arrow in your quiver, be reminded to dream big. Remember that your amazing contributions can be like that of Charlotte Matege. Even in the early 1930s, she obtained a degree from an American university, the first black woman in South Africa. Ms. Matege fought for women's and employee rights. She even set up an employment agency for Africans in Johannesburg and was the first black woman to become a parole officer of juvenile delinquents. Imagine how much more you can do now. As you continue to make your valuable contribution, remember that FPD will always be your partner in lifelong learning. And as we dedicate our time to catalyzing social change and developing people, we honor your commitment as our students. Uwenze Gashle, well done graduates and a good evening to all.